Focal atrial tachycardias are typically benign, often paroxysmal, and self-limited arrhythmias, which can lead someone to experience chest pain, palpitations, dizziness, and lightheadedness, or some may even be asymptomatic or without symptoms. It is a tachycardia, meaning heart rate is greater than 100 beats per minute, and its electrical focus originates from one area within the atria that is outside or not originating from the sinoatrial node. It also differs from other atrial tachyarrhythmias, like atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation, which are typically macro reentrant atrial arrhythmias, originating from multiple sites or larger circuits. In the case of focal atrial tachycardias, they are often the result of enhanced automaticity, triggered activity, or a micro reentry circuit from a single atrial location, hence the name focal atrial tachycardia. On an ECG or cardiac rhythm strip, all P waves have the same morphology and may appear similar to P waves seen in normal sinus rhythm. This just depends on where the focus of atrial electrical activity is originating from. If the focus of electrical activity is located near the sinoatrial node, the P waves will appear very similar to those seen in normal sinus rhythm, with only slight differences in morphology that can be hard to differentiate. For example, if atrial activity is originating at a distant location from the sinoatrial node, then the P waves will obviously look very different. To make things easier, let's just assume that there will be some degree of difference in the P wave morphology compared to normal sinus rhythm. Classically, all P waves are followed by a QRS complex. Unless there is also underlying AV blocks, R to R intervals are often regular. And finally, QRS complexes are narrow. That's because electrical conduction passes through a similar pathway from atria, through the AV node, down the his Purkinje system, and down to the ventricles. This rhythm might seem similar at first to other atrial arrhythmias, but compared to atrial flutter, focal atrial tachycardia has an isoelectric baseline, as opposed to the sawtooth baseline seen in flutter. This stems from the fact that in atrial flutter, rhythms are the result of macro reentry or larger circuits. Whereas in focal atrial tachycardia, there is a single atrial focus that classically conducts in a one-to-one -one ratio with the ventricles. Compared to atrial fibrillation, in focal atrial tachycardia, P waves can easily be differentiated. Whereas in atrial fibrillation, it is often difficult to make out clear P waves because of the erratic depolarization of many ectopic atrial foci which can occur almost simultaneously. And finally, and maybe most similarly, in multifocal atrial tachycardia, you will, by definition, find P waves with at least three different morphologies, representing multiple sites of atrial depolarization, hence the name multifocal atrial tachycardia. This differs from focal atrial tachycardia, where there is only one area of atrial depolarization. So in summary, in a focal atrial tachycardia, heart rate is greater than 100 beats per minute. There is only one P wave morphology throughout the rhythm, representing only one focus of atrial depolarization. Keep in mind that this P wave will often appear different morphologically than those seen in normal sinus rhythm. And P waves conduct one-to-one -one with QRS complexes, with regular R-to-R intervals, with narrow QRS complexes.